Hello, Jaime. Hello, Jose. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I, I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm doing good. Always ready to begin. Okay, teacher. Tell me, how was your day? What did you do today? Uh, my, my day is, is very busy in my work. Very busy. Very busy. Very busy. busy. Okay, why? What happened at work? Uh, I I work in the Ministerio de Hacienda. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I review the documents and the, the tax con, con los contribuyentes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and other other papers, other documents. Okay. And information, yeah. Always a lot of work to do there, right? Yes. Yes, yes I think that in Hacienda always there's so many uh -huh, in the tax services. Yes, uh, auditoria. Yes, auditoria. In, yes. Uh -huh. audit, in audit. Audit, audit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Let me put in the chat, audit. Audit. Mm -hmm. Good. Noe, Jose, how are you? Um, um, I'm fine, thanks. Um, um, a little, a little busy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why? Uh huh. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm still working. Oh, it's very yeah. late. It's very late, Jose. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Well, thank yeah. you. Thank you, Jose and Jaime and Noy for connecting on time. It's very important that way we can focus on the objective. Today, we're going to be looking at infinitive and gerunds. What do you remember are infinitives and gerunds? Um, the gerunds um, ending in ing and express um it's like past continue okay so gerunds is always with ing that is correct that is correct and the infinitive what is the infinitive infinitive uh-huh and in english how what does that mean how do we make the infinitive okay so remember and your partner mentioned the gerund is the verb with ing that means the infinitive is going to be the verb with with uh two Correct. We got two. This is the idea. Is two plus the verb. Okay. So, for example, you're going to have to work or to study or anything with the word two. That's going to be the difference. Today, we're going to learn a little bit about how to use them and why we use them. Let me share. We're going to start in unit two so that it's clear for all of us. Here we have infinitive and gerunds for purpose and different uses. Let's begin with watching the small video of which ones we use. Hi, welcome. Join us in this new section. We're about to explain that we can describe how something is used by either an infinitive or a gerund. Notice the meaning is the same. Pay attention and stay with us. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Infinitives. I use my computer to send emails. Computers are often used to pay bills. Gerunds. I use my computer for sending emails. Computers are often used for paying bills. I said in our email. Uh -huh. So what does that mean? Uh, that means that we can use 
the infinitive or the gerund to answer the question, why? We use infinitive or gerunds to answer why. Why do you use the cell phone? Why do you use the computer? Normally, we use the word because, but today is not necessary because. Today we learn we can use infinitive, to, or gerund, ing. As an example, why do you use the computer? To send emails or for sending emails. It's okay the function of the infinitive and the gerund for today? Okay, let's watch one more part, one more time. Hi, welcome. Join us in this new section. We're about to explain that we can describe how something is used by either an infinitive or a gerund. Notice the meaning is the same. Pay attention and stay with us. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Infinitives. I use my computer to send emails. Why do you use the computer? Ah, or for, to send emails. You see, it answers the question why. Computers are often used to pay bills. Okay. Gerunds. I use my computer for sending emails. Computers are often used for paying bills. Now here it's important. If you use to, you use the base form. If you use for, you use ing. To, base form. For, ing. As said in our intro video, we will study infinitives and gerunds to express use and purposes. Keep in mind the meaning doesn't change. What changes is the structure. So let's go over the explanation on the difference between the two forms. With an infinitive, we must use to plus verb. Example, I use my cell phone to call my friends. To call my friends is the purpose. With a gerund, we must use for plus verb plus ing. Example, I use my cell phone for calling my friends. For calling my friends is the purpose. Notice on both examples, the purpose or use is the same. It is also important for you to notice when using infinitives, we must use the particle to before the verb. And when we use gerunds, we use the word for. You can't say, I use my computer to sending emails, nor I use my computer for send emails. Okay, so you see the most important is the grammar is the for or the to, right? To the base form, for ing. Now, with your partner, 2.2, we're going to make sure that you understand with the six sentences, which is correct, the to or the for. Remember, the idea is to answer the question why, the purpose. It's clear, or do you have any questions? No, all clear. All clear. Okay, let's yeah. try. Perfect.
Good evening, teacher. Well, good evening. Uh, sorry, entré algo tarde. Oh, Walter, but I see you can't connect to the groups. Okay. No, no, que ya está en el grupo, pero veo que como que no, no te conectas. No, ahorita, ahorita estoy conectado ya. No, pero al, al, al trabajo del grupo. Solo me aparece ahorita su contacto. Okay. Vamos a intentar. Okay, so now let's check if we understand how to use four and two. Number one, satellites are used. What is number one? To study, to the, study world the world the world weather okay good good what about number two robots are sometimes used for performing dangerous tasks okay yes it's number three okay okay good number three you can use a cell phone to send, send text, text message. Message. Mm -hmm. number four People use the internet for, for, for make, making for travel making. reservation. Yes. Okay. Good. Number five, the DNA fingerprinting is used. To identify criminals. To identify criminals. criminals. Okay. And the last, CD-ROMs are used. For storing. For storing and sequel play. For storing and sequel play. Okay. Yes. okay. And Let's take a look and see how we did. You can see all of your answers are correct. All of them. What is the important? Two and the base form. Or four and ing. Two yeah. base form. Four ing. Is not correct. For example, is not correct. Four base form. Is not correct. Two ing. Is correct for ing and two in the base form. Is that okay? Okay. Yes, yes, okay, good. Now we're going to practice with our partner and we want to create a role play, a small drama. For example, why? Okay, or what? Okay. Let me give you an example. I go with my partner. Imagine my partner. Hi, Miguel, how are you? I'm good, and you, Andres? Fine. Miguel, why do you study English? I study English to get a better job. I study English for helping my family. I said, oh, and you, why do you study? The idea is you and your partner create the role play, but you make complete role play why? Okay. Change the topic. Hey, Andres, how are you? Good. And, and you, Miguel? Excellent. Andres, why do you go to the bank? Ah, I go to the bank to pay my bills. I go to the bank for paying the electricity. For example, it's okay, the ideas? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. 
So you have five minutes to create the role playing with your partner. And the idea is remember, yes, it's good to use the other vocabulary, but today's objective four and two, use four and two in your presentation.
Okay. Are we ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, so who's the first group? Who's the volunteer? Okay, Carla, I should question. Me, me, teacher, with Noah. Okay. Say let's, hi, Noe. Mm -hmm. Hi, Carla. How are you, Noe? I'm fine, thank you, Carla, and you? Excellent. I want to ask you one question, Noah. I want to know why do you like to go to the beach? I like to uh, I like go to the beach is 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 very important for I rest very much. Oh really? Great. The, yes. the beach is amazing. Yes. Um, okay, my... you, you can ask me. Yes. Now hi Carla, how are you? I'm fine. What about you, Na? Uh, the question is, uh, Carla, uh, why do you go to the wharf every day in your company? I work every day for helping my family, for to buy in a lot of things for my children. In help in to help my grandma. Okay, congratulations, Carla. Okay, teacher. Good. Thank you, Noah. Very nice. Excellent. Remember, good job. Good job using both of them. The idea for the two. Remember, continue it. Working on the fluency. Good job. All right. Who's the next group? Who's the next group? Jaime and Juan, excellent, thank you. All right, let's do it. Okay, thank you, sir. Jaime Reyes, are you there? Hi, Juan, I'm fine. And you, about you, what about you? I, uh, I'm fine. Uh, okay, I uh, start. Uh, hi, Jaime. Um, how are you today? I find I'm not uh, very busy, but I find. Okay. Um, Jaime, uh, what are you? What are you doing uh, on Saturday at nine? Oh, on Saturday at nine. I'm going to play soccer with my friends, my friends. Okay, at what time to play soccer? Was on, on 8 p.m. Could you repeat, please? Uh, at 8 p.m. At 8 p.m.? Yeah. Okay, very well, thank you. Okay, Jaime, Juan, nice conversation, good. But you didn't use the grammar. Remember, the grammar is explained why. Why you play soccer? Ah, for example, Juan, why do you play soccer with your friends? To relax, for relaxing, to exercise, for exercise. The important is use the grammar to for explain the reasons. The, la okay. the, la the last question is, is it, it and, and, I, and I say that because I play soccer, because I like it play, and because it's funny, it, it too, because it's very healthy. Yes, but no juice because, juice too, juice for. Yes. Remember, okay. because is the same but change the vocabulary. Okay, teacher. Uh -huh. So the same, the same idea, the same idea. Why do you play soccer? 
because it's healthy, for example, or because it's good exercise, the, the explanation, the two and the four is for activities. Why do you play soccer? To, to stay healthy, to be healthy, for being healthy, for staying healthy. The same because only change for the vocabulary. Okay, teacher. Excellent. All right. What about Walter? Walter and Jaime. Hello. Hi, Jaime. Hello, Walter. Uh, How are you? I'm fine. Jaime, why do you like the football soccer? I like the football soccer for playing uh, in my free time. In my free time, I, uh, on Saturday and on Sunday, this this is my my vacation on, on the week. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, why do you go to the park on Sunday, Jaime? Uh, I I go to the park uh, to 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 visit uh, the the cathedral <laughs> okay. and the church in the park. Okay. It is, yes. Very good, Jaime. Okay, Walter. Very good. Yes. That is correct. Correct for correct too. It's nice. Mm -hmm. This is why. Why do you go to the park? To visit, for visiting. Mm, good job. Very good. No problems. All right. Let's take a look. Uh, Jose and Maria, the last group. The last group. Jose and Maria. Okay. Um, first, I want to say sorry, but and me and Maria, uh, I, I have been... Hey, and we um, we're talking about plans for the next weekend. And, and I say what I I chose for staying in home. No problem. Go ahead. Let, let's let's have the conversation. Go. Hey, Hello. Oh. Hi, Maria. Hi, Jose. Who are you? I'm fine. I'm, I'm boring. Uh, why? Repeat, please. Why? Why are you are worried? Um, because I don't have uh, money. Uh, yeah, I am hung I hungry. Ah, oh, sorry, uh, I'm, I'm stay far away, but um, I wanna I wanna ask you what, what are your plans for the next weekend? Uh, nothing special. Do you suggest something? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm for watching TV. We, what, what kind of movie do you like to see? Uh, sorry, I can, I can hear you. What kind of movie do you like to see? Um, I am um, for watching movies. Repeat. I, 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 I prefer action movies. Really? Yeah. Uh, For me, uh, romantic. Oh, great. But um, about the many problems. Why? You have Hello. to you have to get this. Sorry. <laughs> you have to get you have to get some money. 
Really? Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, I, I lend money. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. I think Jose is still at work. That's why we hear a lot of like that the thing from the office. Yes. No problem, Jose. Don't worry. You are you practice, you try the best, it's excellent. We try to explain why for the situations. So remember the the number one objective is that the idea is and two is like us. Ah, maybe that was my oh it's Maria's office. I thought it was Jose, but Maria is is your office. Dang I thought it was Jose. Okay. Okay. So remember, good job. The important four and two is like because. Okay. So it, maybe only the difference is the structure. What is this, the structure? Because you can explain me, because I want to go, because my sister, because, uh, but with four and two, no people. Four and two is activities. For helping, to help, for these are the difference. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and continue. Then, if there are no questions, let's try. Now we're going to look at pronunciation, only to listen a little bit how to pronounce correct pronunciation, syllable stress, part A. Listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite. Internet. Photograph. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM. Engineer. Entertain. Okay, so let's practice together, only to practice the pronunciation. Satellite. 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 Good. Internet. 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 Mm -hmm. Internet. Photograph. 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 Good. Invention. 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 Assignment. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Computer. 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 CD ROM. CD ROM. CD ROM. CD ROM. Good. Engineer. 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 Entertain. 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 Good. Where is the stress in these words? Can you pronounce them? Entertain. Very good. Can you repeat with me? Languages, telephone, transmission, robotics, understand, VCR. Let's try it now the correct stress one more time. Languages. Language. 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 Telephone. 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 Transmission. 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 Mm -hmm. Robotics. 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 Understand. 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 VCR. 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 Okay, very good. Now let's take a look. Here is the objective for this part of the lesson. Uh, no, it can no. Can you please read the objective? Okay, teacher. Uh, one minute, please. Okay. Lo puede ampliar un poco, un poquito, teacher. Yes, let me make it a little bit bigger. Please. 
Yes. In this lesson, you will practice uh, conversation. Conversation about a about a meeting on cell phone. Uh, see imperative and infinitive uh, for yes. giving yes. uh, suggest suggestion mm -hmm. uh, uh, in, in context. context in context okay thank you now okay. now we're going to look at here remember yesterday we learned that vocabulary the difference between borrow and lend what was the difference when is borrow and when is lend do you remember from yesterday borrow and lend yeah. Um, lend is give and, bo and, and borrow is give and lend is recite. The opposite. Mm. The opposite. So, for example, Banco Agricola lends you money. Banco Agricola lends you money. Oh, you okay. borrow, you borrow money from Banco Agricola. So lend is to give you, borrow is to receive. Okay. Okay. All right, let's watch the video on the idea of the usage of the cell phone. And the topic, can I borrow your cell phone? Hi again, listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay. I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Right Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? If you're not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Now we need to listen again and answer four questions. Listen, what are the four questions we need to answer? Ready? Who owns the phone? Number one, what is question number one? Who? Who's the phone? Correct. Who owns the phone is who is the owner of the telephone? This is number one. Who owns the phone? Who are they calling? Number two. What is question number two? Who are they calling? Good. Who, who are they calling? Yes. Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? Number three. What is question number three? No? Repeat it. Uh, okay. They calling. What's the first thing to do? Number three? What is this number is three? Like oh, what is exactly what, what is the, the first thing to do? So number three is what is the first thing to do? And number four? What should the woman press? What is number four? They calling. What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? 
what was number four? Okay. Number four was, what should the woman press? What should the pr woman press? Who are they calling? Who are they calling? What should the woman press? We have, we have the four questions. Are you ready? Yes, we listen again and we answer, or is not clear the question? And number four, teacher, repeat the, uh, the question, please. Yes, number four, the question is, what should, what should the woman press? Okay, no problem. What should the woman press? Do you understand question number four? It's in the chat. If it's not clear, you can see in the chat the question. Okay. Juan Linares, what is question number one? No, no, teacher. On the phone. Uh huh. Uh huh. ¿Y cómo vamos a hacer el trabajo, Juan? <laughs> Jose Arturo, what is question number one? Ah, uh, who is who is on the phone? Ah, okay. Let's take a look. Let's make sure. Here, write the questions. Ready? Who owns the phone? Ah, what is question number one? Who has the phone? Ah, correct. Who owns the phone? Question number one. Number two. Who are they calling? What was question number two? Who are they calling? Okay. Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? Question number three. What's What things? What's the first thing to do? Okay. So, listen to the conversation and answer the four questions. Listen and answer. First, do you understand the four questions? Do you understand the four questions? Richard. It's okay the questions or no okay the questions? Yes. Yes, teacher, it's clear. Okay. Listen one more time and answer the four questions. Hi again. Listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Sorry, right Make sure now. to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Okay. Now let's check. Number one. Who owns the phone? Richard. 
That's right. Richard owns the phone. The man. Excellent. Who are they calling? Uh, Jenny. Mm, no, they are not calling Jenny. Uh, no, um, uh, the, the Jenny's boss. Correct. They are calling Jenny's boss. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about question number three? Uh, What's the first thing to do? Hmm? Uh, be sure that turn it on. Exactly. First, you have to turn it on. Uh huh. And then number four, what should the woman press? Um, to um, to the Aldi area call. Ah, okay, okay. More or less, the woman should press, not the area code, but the woman should press, I think, so. no, no, sorry, not send. The woman should press call. Wow. Call. Mm -hmm. Just because not press call, nothing happens. Okay. That is the idea for the conversation of how to use the cell phone before. Okay. Now, I want you with your partner, you are going to explain in your own vocabulary how to use the cell phone. Okay. You can say how to use the cell phone, how to use the computer, how to use the tablet, whatever. You're going to give an explanation. As an example, Walter says, hey, Edwin, how do you use the cell phone? Ah, first, you need to, today, the cell phone, no, no turn on today. First, you need to unlock the cell phone. Then you have to put in the, uh-huh. Now you explain with your partner the process. Yes? I explain to my partner, my, explain, my partner explains to me. Okay. We are ready? Yeah. Okay.
Okay, we're ready. So, how do we use a cell phone? Walter, are you ready? Yes, yes. Okay, teacher. Okay. 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 Uh, no way. How, how to use the computer? Uh, I, uh, Walter, um, I use my computer in my work every day for prepare report every day. Um, and same, uh, am I, I my boss? Okay. Okay, Walter. Um, how to use the cell phone in your world? Uh, I usually use my cell phone to call to my 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 boss and my partner about about uh, about my my work. Okay, excellent. Teacher. Okay, very nice job. Very good. Excellent. We're going to continue trying on the is good that you're using the two, the four. Also, remember to use the vocabulary for the process. The process is, for example, first, then not only why you use, but how to use. Good job. Okay, who's next? The next volunteers? The people are scared. No, what happened? What happened? <laughs> okay. Um, me and uh, my partner. Juan. Uh -huh, you and Juan. Uh, me and Juan. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, hi, Juan. Do you now have to use uh, a smartphone? Mm. Would you repeat, please? Um, do you do you can use a smartphone? Mm. I don't understand. Eh. Um, uh, if you can use a smartphone, how to make a call, how, how to say, how to send an email? Oh, I use my, my cell phone for, uh, calling for make a uh, calling and for send a message in the process and first and I I I put the screen and um choose the 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 app uh, no i don't uh, i don't explain uh, <laughs> teacher no problem that's why we practice relax this is the function of the class today we see we need to practice more tomorrow Everyone have to explain the process for one thing. Let okay. me explain in Spanish to be sure. Okay. No cell phone. Tomorrow, no cell phone. Van a explicar algo. Como se usa una cafetera. Como se usa una microonda. Como se algo me van a explicar como se dice en inglés. Okay. Oh, teacher, no sé cómo se dice. Para eso tienen tiempo para buscar el vocabulario. 
Okay. ok. We're going to explain how we use it. How no es lo mismo why. How is process. Why process. is the reason. Ok. Ok, teacher. Y Juan Linares va a ser el primero en pasar mañana. No okay. se me olvide cuidarlo. Great. <laughs> <laughs> ok. No problem. We relax. Good job. We're ready for tomorrow? Great, yes. teacher. All right. Hey, teacher. Thank you. Have a nice night. I see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.